let's start with what objective quality metrics are. And essentially, they're mathematical formulas that attempt to predict how human eyes would rate videos. So they have no value of their own. Really, it's just you know how well and how accurately do they predict how humans will view the videos. And some examples that you probably have heard of, mean opinion score is one of the first. PSNR and SSIM were some early ones. And then SIMPLUS should be all caps. Sorry about that. Um, and VMAF, which is the metric that's in, uh, invented by, by Netflix. And I just wanted to point out that over time, these metrics have become more uh, accurate because they've, they've incorporated a couple of things. Number one, the initial metrics were just math. They measured the difference between the compressed video and the source video. And it came up with a, a measure of, um, of that difference. And that's kind of the mean square error in PSNR. SSIM was the first one to try and gauge how much humans actually cared about those differences. Some differences you notice more, some differences you notice less. And that's why most people who use metrics consider SSIM superior to PSNR. And then once you get to the, to the more recent metrics, um, SimPlus and VMAF, these incorporate math, you know, the, the basic algorithms, plus uh, the concept of how humans perceive the differences and also machine learning elements, particularly for VMAF. So, you know, as we go along, these metrics get better and better. No metric is 100% accurate. You can always find use cases where they don't work, but they are going to at some point be able to, to pretty much mimic the human visual system entirely. <laughs>